Sorry, I'm sick. Okay, hi, I'm Matthew Sutting. Matthew's channel. My life in screen. I am gonna be talking about uh, complex dialogue sequence and that project. So it started off where we had to get into groups of three and that was easy and then it came to actually starting and we brainstormed ideas. It was all very chilled. It was really nice to be able to work with other creative minds. Zime had a couple of really cool ideas and then I took those two ideas and I took an element of my idea and I mashed them all together and I came up with this concept that I'll admit it's very confusing. It actually took me a while to actually try and explain it to them. Body switching, okay you have a boy and two girls and then the lesbian and then it's all very confusing confusing. Unfortunately in this business there will be times where creatively or whatnot you butt heads. This is what I've learned. The problem with working with someone they don't like conflict so they just sit back and then at some point they get all angry or like they just start like not talking to you and you're like what's going on and then they're like well blah 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 you d you've done this but it's like no I brought it up to you. You need to actually deal with that conflict and confront that person because otherwise it's just going to be awkward and it's all just going to sit and boil and boil until... <laughs> But we got past that. When it came to shooting, it was fun. I learned something about myself and it's that I don't have a lot of patience for people who aren't on the same page as me in producer wise. Like I think through things logically, creatively, but logically like, okay, so there's gonna be a point when we're shooting with candles, let's shoot all the stuff with the lights on, then the stuff with the candles. I needed to kind of ground that and be like, okay, yes, that's cool. We're gonna shoot that because I know you're excited for that shot. But we'll do that after we've done all these shots because we need to get these done first. That's when I really realized that it's very creative and it's really cool and you can have all these ideas but you have to ground those ideas, have a schedule because otherwise you won't get anything done or you'll be up till 4am. I mean we predicted to be shooting till midnight too. We will finish at 10 p.m. Done. Finished. Because, and I don't want to toot my own horn here, but it's because I was insistent we need to storyboard this, that we know, okay, these are the shots we're getting done, and whatnot, whatnot. In post, I actually have to hand it to evidence. I started the rough cut. I had to leave early on Saturday, so he stayed behind, and he actually finished the rough cut. There was still stuff I had to do afterwards, like adding music, fixing the dialogue, whatnot. He really pulled through and got a nice rough cut in. Then it came to color correction. Now, I was a complete idiot when it came to color correction. We had a bit of it in our one editing lesson. I wrote it down, but the notes didn't really make sense in terms of actually doing it. Thank God evidence was there because he actually wrote it down properly and he remembered properly how to do it and it really saved our film. I really wanted to color correct because everything just looked extremely orange and very weird. I was very happy with it. This project was really good with teaching me to multitask because we were working on that third year SRP assisting and I have my continuity R to do all in one week. It was very hectic but you know ultimately especially working in South Africa in this business you won't be doing one thing at a time because then you won't be making money. You will be juggling multiple projects. A nice thing to learn. See you on the flip side homies. Oh.